Let me go to um, a first-time caller out of Florida, Nick. Nick, get it off your chest, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Mr. Jesse, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, first, I wanted to say, you now every time uh, I hear that a guy is complaining or whining or just doing something that's not right, he's being beta. A woman. Correct. A real woman. Yeah. A- any man that whine, complain, and blame, you look at them, you'll see the woman nature coming out of them. It's not normal for men to be that way. Now, do you agree or disagree? I agree with you 100%. Okay. And go ahead. Now, I got a question for you. Yes. Now, everybody says that money is the root of all evil. Now, no. could it be that uh, maybe after Eve ate of the apple, maybe it became the fact that the woman became the root of all evil? And we just don't see that? After the woman ate and the apple? Maybe be focusing on... What's that? You said after she ate the apple? Yes, sir. Um, so you want to know when she ate the apple, is she the evil one? Because it seems like everything that we do by dressing fancy, buying big expensive cars, trying to show that we have wealth, it's all to try to attract a female. It is. What happened was uh, before Eve was created from man by God, uh, Adam had a relationship with his father and Adam knew the truth. He lived the truth. He was of the truth and he didn't know the lie. So he only knew the truth from his father. Then God decided, you know what? You need a woman. And so, so you have some babies. And so he created... Now, would we have been better off without it? Well, I'll tell you that in a minute. Good question. So he created Eve and Eve knew the truth that came from her husband. She didn't know the lie at the time. She knew the truth. She loved her husband who loved his father. And then one day Satan came along. Hey, E, why you listen to that man? Don't let him control you. You have a right to do your own thing. You should be equal. Look at Adam. He's listening to his father. And what kind of man listens to his father? You should do your own thing. He tried it with Adam, but it didn't work. Satan did. And so he went to the weaker one. He went to Eve and said the same thing. Why don't you be your own woman? Your body, your choice. You can do what you want. You can be equal. And finally, she believed it. And she went, well, she went and told Adam, you know what? Uh, I met old serpent out there today. He told me I can be free and I can be this and that. He like, no, Eve, go sit down. Don't listen to the serpent lying to you. He's lying. And then she went back and said, Adam told me not to listen to you. And he said, oh, Adam is lying. He just want to control you. You could be a lesbian. You can do whatever you want. You can work a job. You can kill your babies in the womb. Oh, really? She said, all right. And so she believes the serpent. And once she believed the lie, she fell away from her husband. She fell away from the truth. And in that father's state, he convinced her to keep going to the husband and telling him, you know what? Why are you listen to your daddy? You shouldn't listen to your father. Your father want to control you, just like the mothers do today to their children. Your father want to control you. Don't listen to him. He's just trying to control you. He ain't no good. He's an alcoholic. He's a drug addict. He doesn't love you. He abused me. Your father's an abuser. So, Adam, don't listen to him. You can be your own man. Your father talked to me wrong. He abused me with words. And Adam was like, really, mama? Yeah, he did, baby. And so the moment Adam believed her, he fell away from his father. And she became his God. He became subject to the woman. Now he's trying to get something back. He felt, he realized he lost something. And so now he's trying to get it back through the woman by way of sex, by way of doing what she said, because she is his God now. Thank God for Jesus. God, like, you know what? Let me, Jesus, I need you to do me a favor. I'm going to create you, my, my, my begotten son here. I need you to go down there and straighten this out. Love your father so that the people can see how to overcome, repent and overcome. Go and, you know, sacrifice yourself. Buy them back from hell. 
Because Satan ain't got no been taking you. You haven't done anything wrong. And so he let Satan take him. And Satan took him, Jesus. And by taking him uh, wrongfully, Jesus was able to buy us back because Satan had no been touching Jesus. And so now, when you love the Son, through the Son, you love the Father. You have a way to overcome the woman being your God by realizing you're wrong and forgive that woman for turning you away from your father and love your father, you'll be fine. Amen. Perfect.